Hey there, welcome to day 2205 of What You Have to Know. Sharon horn from here, documenting the journey. Originally in 2017, I, I started online doing things. I, following my divorce, was looking for a change, something totally different than what I'd done in the past and in what I've ever done before. And I was looking for a new challenge, right? I don't know about you, but as we go through different phases of our lives, we actually go out, seek out, and look for challenges, things to learn, things to grow, things to be curious about. And I think that the more we do that, the more we take our life in the direction we want it to go. So today I created a couple of pieces of content. The first was our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. And today we're talking about effective communication, why it's important for different types of communication that we want to make sure that we're using. And we gave ourselves a little test to say how effective on a scale of one to 10, one being terrible, one, 10 being awesome, how effective a, a communicator am I? And I define effective as I'm getting the results and the outcome I want. Now, it doesn't mean every communication you go into, you're looking for a positive result or outcome. Sometimes you just want to light a fire under somebody like your kids or your grandkids or something. And so you're going to, uh, but is that the outcome you want? If that's the outcome you want to ruffle some feathers and you successfully do that, then you're a pretty effective communicator. If it's to improve and grow in your relationships, that's kind of more of what I'm getting at. Overall, do you consider the way that you communicate effective on a scale of one to 10 in getting the positive results that you want in the world. But we use it both ways, right? We know how to push people's buttons that are we're in long-term relationships or that we've known for a long time. That applies to friends, that applies to siblings, that applies to parents and children and grandchildren alike, right? If uh, in, in, And ex-spouses, we know how to get them to. So today we are talking about why effective communication is important. And we're just practicing one way or paying attention to our communication and seeing did we get the outcome from that communication that we wanted yes great no well let's try to attempt to use more effective listening skills and active listening skills and good communication skills that will help us to get the outcomes that we want almost all the time and that isn't in a manipulative way it is in an a really caring about genuine authentic way we talked about that then our topic for Super Size Your Business today was diversity and inclusion in the workplace, in your business, and in your culture. And uh, I shared my opinions on that because it's my podcast. I can do that. Whether we agree or not, uh, there's certain topics that were taboo and we do not talk about to this day in any of the businesses that I own and operate, or at least you don't talk about it in front of me. Uh, and mostly that's built into our culture, religion politics, highly charged uh, emotional topics. Uh, we just don't, we don't, they're not number one, usually pertinent or germane to our conversations and what we're working on. Uh, if they were, we would bring them up. But otherwise, to me, those are such highly emotionally charged, deeply rooted in our core beliefs and values topics. And I've yet to see anybody having a conversation that's political or religious uh, or highly charged emotionally about usually a political or religious topic where the other person changed their mind. I've never seen, I've seen it in a lot of different types of conversations and on a lot of different topics, but I've never really seen it in those two areas where somebody made an argument and the other person said, okay, I see what you're saying. I'm going to change my mind. I agree with you. Uh, almost never on those two areas. And usually it leads to disagreement, hurt feelings, right? Because they are the, they're, they're topics that are so inherent to who we are in our identity that if somebody disses your religion or your political views, you take it personally. It isn't personal usually. People just have different perspectives and ways of seeing things, but we take it and we get hurt by it. And so I just learned a long time ago, yep, let's agree to not deal on in topics like that that are, you know, so personal that it and it doesn't matter because you're not going to change my mind or their mind, right? All right, so that's what we were talking about today, and I think I think they're both incredibly important components of our work culture. And based on the business and the clientele and your customers and the people that you bring into your business, it's important to bring in different perspectives, different types of experience, especially if you do anything as teams. And almost everybody uses teams to accomplish their goals nowadays uh, in, in whatever business you're in. I mean, we don't create 
things in a vacuum. We don't succeed in a vacuum. We don't add value to the world in a vacuum. Uh, it's important that we remember everybody wants to be included and valued for what they bring to the organization. And they want to be able to be who they are when they're in our organizations. So that's it. That's all I've got today. It is Friday here in my land, my land, my, my homeland. Uh, and got a super busy weekend. Got another birthday next week. So always something fun going on, especially with the granddaughters. If I can help you anyway, ask, hit me up. That is what I am here for. And I offer that. I don't offer it to everyone, but I offer it up. And it's amazing how few people take advantage of, of that offer. I guess, I don't know why, but that's okay. Uh, I think because most people are afraid to ask questions. I used to be that way all the time. And then I had a couple of coaches and mentors and I had people that worked in my one coach's uh, organization that had a huge profound impact on me and my ability to ask questions and ask for help when needed. All right, have an awesome day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.